The Resource Center for Human Rights and Civic Education has called on the federal government to restore and protect the fundamental human rights and dignity of the original inhabitants of the FCT. The call was made in Abuja yesterday during the briefing by the group through its executive director, Dr. Ibrahim Azikrulahi. That was in preparation for the United Nations International Day of World's Indigenous Peoples held in Abuja. According to him, the International Day is marked on 9 August every year to draw attention to the diverse human rights and governance challenges affecting an estimated 476 million indigenous peoples living in as many as 90 countries around the world. Take a listen. The issue of uh, this Muslim Muslim ticket that has become a burning issue today uh, in politics, if a politician and if you're a candidate or the major assignment of any political party is to win elections. For Ashwaju's case, Ashwaju happens to come from the south. He is, as a Muslim, he is in the minority in the south because the southern part of Nigeria is predominantly Christians. The over this issue should be, it should be ignored. We should channel our energy into all that problem issue because no president in this country can Islamize Nigeria as a whole or Christianize the entire country. Not even the Pope. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.